Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video. Got a busy old day coming up at Gazworthy. So today we're starting off with the European Outlook. So we're going to have a detailed look at the weather for the coming week across uh, Europe. And I'll get on that for you uh, very shortly. Uh, and just say that coming up later on, we're going to have GMA Friday month. they look at a 10 to 14 day V update with all regular features. And tonight we've got the uh, latest ENSO update for June 2020 coming up as well. So yes, it's going to be uh, a very, very busy day at Gazworthy. But starting us off is our Europe. European Outlook. So this one is uh, YouTube exclusive. We don't embed this to the website gasworthies.com. So if you uh, want to uh, follow the European Outlook and also our uh, updates for America, you will need to subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, that's absolutely great. You'll be notified then uh, when we release the European Outlook on a Friday and also our uh, videos for America on a Monday and on a Thursday too. Uh, okay, so let's get on with European outlook then, and uh, we're going to start off with uh, weather for today across Europe. So high pressure is dominated weather for spending northern and eastern parts of Europe, bring up these hot southerly winds. Has been very warm across the west of Europe as well, in fact it still is, but low pressure is starting to move in from off the Atlantic and breaking down the hot weather across northwestern parts of uh, Europe. Uh, so cooler air begin to head in from off the Atlantic, but it is still a hot scene through many parts of Europe today. There's the upper air temperature showing that most parts of Europe are looking hot today. Some cooler air beginning to move in towards Ireland and southwestern parts of England, but basically from the UK eastwards, it is a hot scene through most parts of Europe, particularly hot, of course, down through the bed. That heat does extend northwards, and of course, been a very, very warm few weeks across Scandinavia. That goes on for the time being as well. So under the high pressure across Scandinavia, there's plenty of dry weather up there. But come further southwards into eastern parts of Europe, we've got these big thunderstorms here from Poland going over towards the Black Sea. Some storms extending down the Balkans and out through the Balkans in towards uh, northern parts of Greece. We come back through the Meb, there's a lot of dry weather, and then go northwards into uh, eastern parts of France and up into uh, south uh, southwestern parts of Germany. So quite big thunderstorms there. Although much of uh, Germany, Denmark, many parts parts of Netherlands, for example, reasonable amount of dry weather, some storms coming to northern parts of France, and most storms do extend over towards parts of the UK and into Ireland uh, as well today. Temperatures look like that, so it's a hot scene across many parts of Europe today, with temperatures widely into the upper 20s to low to mid 30s Celsius. So, for most places, we're into the 80s Fahrenheit, some places well into the 90s Fahrenheit. We're just going a little bit cooler across Ireland and southwestern by the end of today, but essentially, it is a hot scene across most parts of Europe for Friday. <coughs> Excuse me, into Saturday, and this low pressure has pushed through from the Atlantic. That is changing the uh, air mass for Ireland and the UK and for northwestern parts of Europe. However, most places are still under those uh, hot conditions. Our rare temperatures show that for Ireland and the UK it is cooling down, but most other places are looking hot uh, across Europe on uh, Saturday, hot across Scandinavia, hot. Our rare temperatures extending down through many centuries of parts of Europe and also back in towards the uh, Mediterranean uh, as well. So you've got showers or longer spells of rain with this area of low pressure for Ireland and the UK tomorrow. Going further eastwards, you see thunderstorms pushing through the North Sea in towards southern parts of uh, Norway, through Denmark, and down in towards Germany. For a time, there could be some thunderstorms across northern parts of France and Belgium, Holland and the Netherlands too. Those uh, thunderstorms will gradually ease their way eastwards as well. More storms over on the eastern side of Europe, but much of Scandinavia, Baltic Sea areas looking dry. And then coming down through the Mediterranean, it's a, high, it's a hot, dry and uh, sunny scene through many parts of the Med tomorrow. Hot through most parts of Europe, although either the UK turning a lot cooler, we see the temperatures dropping down into the low 20s Celsius, so much more comfortable in the extreme northwest of Europe tomorrow. But most places across Europe again seeing temperatures upper 20s to low to mid 30 Celsius. So, uh, yes, somewhere from around uh, 28 to 34, I think, through most parts of Europe. Mediterranean also very hot, of course. That Sunday and low pressure dominates across the northwestern parts of uh, Europe, so it's in the north of Scotland, a strong westerly wind bringing in uh, gales potentially to the western parts of Scotland. And also much cooler air with showers, longer spells of rain in the northwest as well. However, we go further eastwards across the rest of Europe, and again, we are hanging on to those hot temperatures in many areas. 
Other air temperatures look like that. In the northwest, it's cooler, but through Scandinavia, and through the central, eastern, and southern parts of Europe, uh, the upper air temperatures are looking hot. <coughs> Excuse me again. We go through into the precipitation Sunday, and uh, we've got showers and longer spells of rain in the northwest. Some of those longer spells of rain begin to push into southern parts of Norway and Sweden as well. Then we've got big showers and thunderstorms from Germany going down towards uh, the Alps into eastern parts of France. More storms over onto the eastern side of Europe uh, as well. Uh, and then up to the northeast, a lot of dry weather up there. Down through Mediterranean again, it is a dry, sunny, and hot scene. Uh, service temperatures looking like that. Begin to cool down a little bit across Scandinavia. Still very warm, much of Sweden. Uh, Norway is beginning to cool down. Much cooler for the UK and for Ireland and for some northern parts of France and into uh, the low countries as well. From Germany eastwards, that's where we have the heat, really. Eastern parts of Germany through to the Black Sea. Uh, yes, still temperatures holding up into the uh, low 30 Celsius through many of those areas. And it remains hot again across many parts of the map. Into next week, that's Monday, so uh, low pressure is in the northwest of Europe and it's beginning to push through towards Scandinavia as well. We've still got to reach through much of France and down to southwestern parts uh, of Europe. And over on the eastern side of Europe, uh, we've got uh, slack gradients, probably allowing heavy showers and thunderstorms to develop. Uh, the heat is being pushed further eastwards into eastern parts of Europe on Monday, out in west of the northwest. It is turning cooler there, and much of the Mediterranean, again, is looking uh, fairly hot. Band of thunderstorms uh, pushing that heat eastwards into eastern parts of Europe. So this is where we've got a line of thunderstorms ready for the Baltic Sea go down to the Black Sea. Anywhere east of that is going to be very hot. On the, to the west of that band of thunderstorms, it will be cooler, fresher, with showers or longer spells of rain being driven in by that low pressure sitting close to the UK and Ireland and driving in those westerly winds. Most of France, uh, most of France, Spain and Portugal looking dry. I mean, going through Mediterranean again, Many, many places are dry, sunny, and hot. It is hot through the med with temperatures through central parts of Spain up to around 38 degrees. That's 100 Fahrenheit and much of the med uh, sort of mid to upper 30s Celsius. Those hot temperatures extend into the extreme eastern part of Europe as well. But through central, western and northwest areas, much cooler there with temperatures upper teens to low 20s. Cooling down across Scandinavia too after being hot for so many weeks. That is uh, Tuesday. Deep trough of low pressure is in over Scandinavia on Tuesday. So this is a really big change for Scandinavia compared to what you've had uh, over the past few weeks. Uh, so generally the northwest of Europe looking a lot cooler and more unsettled. We have got a ridge that's extending through the southern and southwestern parts of uh, Europe as well. Uh, 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 upper air temperatures look like that. So it's hot across many southern parts of Europe, particularly through uh, the Mediterranean going further north. It's cooler in the north. Northwest, the most cooler upper air temperatures are extending their way into more eastern parts of Europe as well. Uh, precipitation for Tuesday, loads of dry weather really through many southern parts of Europe, particularly through the Mediterranean, also extending up to many parts of France and into southern Germany as well. The most unsettled conditions is in the north and the northwest, especially for Scandinavia and back in towards parts of the UK and Ireland with shells or long spells of rain there. Real north-south split with temperatures, so through many southern parts of Europe it remains hot temperatures into the uh, low to mid 30 Celsius. Many northern parts of Europe are cooler though with temperatures around the upper to uh, low 20s uh, Celsius through there. Wednesday uh, looks like that. So again, uh, we see low pressure over Scandinavia and generally looking quite unsettled across northern and western parts of Europe. Hottest weather looks like it's in southern and southeastern parts of Europe. Other air temperatures look hot through many southern parts of Europe. Quite warm across the east of Europe as well. Cooler out in the north and the west with those Atlantic winds too. Mostly dry, sunny and hot through Mediterranean, go further north. We've got showers or longer spells of rain through Ireland, parts of France, into the low countries, through Germany, on into Poland as well. Could be heavy showers, further storms through those areas. And further showers up towards Scandinavia and into Baltic Sea areas. 
Getting a little bit hotter as we go through the middle of the week across parts of France and Germany. So some hotter areas moving up from Mediterranean there. Temperatures returning to below, uh, returning to the mid to upper 20 Celsius. Low 20 Celsius though through Ireland, UK, much of uh, Scandinavia too. And then free the Med, obviously it remains pretty hot through there. And then that's Thursday. Uh, so next Thursday sees uh, unsettled weather continuing in the north and west. Quite warm over on the east side of Europe, quite hot through the east side of Europe and hot through much of Mediterranean as well. Upper air temperatures look like that. The south, southeast and eastern part of Europe looking hot. Always cooler uh, in the uh, west and in the northwest too. Uh, precipitation, completely dry through Mediterranean, uh, really. Uh, go up towards the eastern parts of Europe, and again, we've got some heavy showers and thunderstorms there. They back their way into western and central parts of Europe. For Scandinavia, Ireland, the UK, it's a case of more Atlantic driven weather, uh, really, with showers, possibly some longer spells of rain. It is hot on Thursday across many parts of southern Europe. And into the eastern part of the Europe as well, with temperatures widely into the uh, low to mid 30 Celsius, perhaps even higher than that through some parts of the bed. Out in the northwest, it's quite a lot cooler through there. Uh, temperatures sort of uh, low 20s at best. And I'll just run you up to date. This is Friday, 3rd of July. So uh, maybe we start seeing a little bit of a ridge building in the northwest, perhaps setting things down uh, a little bit through there. Still looks unsettled across Scandinavia, though. The hottest weather will be through the men and again in the eastern and southeastern part of Europe. And then through the weekend of the 4th and the 5th of July, we see an area of high pressure beginning to develop through western and uh, through western southwest parts of Europe. So this brings drier and warmer weather to western parts uh, of Europe, from Germany down through France in Spain and Portugal, possibly into parts of the UK as well. Scandinavia looking uh, more unsettled and quite cool through there. And then through the Med, obviously it's hot. And on the eastern side of Europe, it is hot, very warm. Uh, but uh, there's some big thunderstorms through there. Uh, okay, so that's it. weekend forecast uh, for today. If you enjoyed this video, then please give us a like on the video. Let us know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, the next European Outlook will be next Friday. Uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.